Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and today's video is another episode of our Wix Studio Simplified series where I help simplify Wix Studio. Now for today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at scaling text and I'm gonna be teaching you how text actually scales here in Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I am in Wix Studio and all I'm gonna do for now is just grab out some simple text here, like a simple title here. And what I first wanna make a note of here is the responsive behavior is currently set to scale proportionately. That means here in Wix Studio that when the website is large, the text is larger. And when the website is smaller, the text is smaller. This is the same for other breakpoints like tablet and mobile. You can see just how small the text can get. In fact, here on mobile, if we look at the font size, we can see it is 12 pixels with an asterisk. However, if we go back up to desktop, we'll see that the font size is now 39 pixels with an asterisk. Now you might be wondering what pixels with an asterisk mean. Here in Wix Studio, a lot of things are responsive, but it's still somewhat a pixel based editor. So as you can see right here, the width of this element here is 232 pixels with an asterisk. The asterisk means this element is 232 pixels when we are on the 1280 editing size. If I bumped this up to maybe 1440 and we take a look at the width, it is now set to 261. If we go back down to 1280, which is my preferred editing size here in Wix Studio, we'll notice it goes back to the 232. So that is the same exact way the text is responsive here in Wix Studio. However, the good thing is, is right underneath the font size, we can set a min and max. Typically for text here in Wix Studio, I really hardly ever have to set a max. I typically just set a minimum. Because again, if we go back down to mobile, 12 pixels for a title is really small. In fact, even for paragraphs, I don't typically go below 13. So here on desktop, what I might do is set the minimum for a title to like 24 pixels. That way, when we resize the screen all the way down to mobile, you'll now notice that the font size is 24 pixels. It's never gonna get smaller than 24 pixels. Now let's go ahead and add a paragraph. For a paragraph element just like this, you'll notice that the font size is currently set to 16. Like I was mentioning earlier, for paragraph text elements, I don't typically like to go below 13 for mobile. So for the minimum, I'm gonna set this to 13. So now as we resize the screen to the lowest breakpoint, you are now gonna notice that the font size is 13 pixels, and it's never gonna get smaller than this minimum that we set. For example, if I go ahead and change this to 14, you'll notice that the font size here changes with it. However, let's say you really don't like the responsiveness of the text. You can come over to scaling text and turn this from auto to custom. And basically what that's gonna do is it's going to get rid of the font size here. And since we still have scale proportionately on, what we're gonna want to do is maybe set this from like 64 to 24. So in a way, this does the same exact thing. It's just a little bit more of a manual way to do so because if I make it really large, it gets larger. If we go down to mobile, it gets smaller. So if you want a little bit more control, you can set it to custom. However, I will say for the most part, 99% of the time, I just leave it on auto typically with a minimum value. And keep in mind that Wix Studio actually cascades down. So let's say having a minimum value of 24 pixels works really well with all of the elements here on desktop, but for some reason, maybe it doesn't really look that good here on desktop for some reason. You can, of course, maybe adjust this here on tablet. And now when we go down to mobile, you'll now see that mobile has the same minimum value, but the desktop will still have its minimum 24. So to kind of explain this a little bit better, everything cascades downwards. So any changes you make on desktop will affect tablet and mobile. Any changes you make on tablet will also affect mobile. However, it's not reversible. So things you do on mobile will not affect tablet and desktop and things you do on tablet will not affect desktop. 
it only cascades downwards and it does not cascade upwards. So that gives us a lot of control. If we don't like how something looks on tablet, we can edit it here without the fear of it accidentally messing up our perfect design here on desktop. But we will also need to make sure that we come down to mobile and we check this and make sure everything looks good here. Like maybe for this, we will want to come down to 24 pixels here on mobile. We just maybe wanted to fix tablet a little bit differently. And the last thing I'll kind of mention, maybe you really don't like the scaling text at all. What we can do is we can come down to responsive behavior and we can just set it to fixed. This is gonna remove the min and max values completely. And it's also going to remove the pixel with the asterisks. For example, if we resize the screen, the title text is not getting bigger. If we make the screen smaller, the text size is not getting smaller. So that is something to keep in mind. If you wanna go that route, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you come to each of the breakpoints and edit these individually. So for desktop, we had it set to 48. For tablet, maybe we set it to 36. And last but not least, for mobile, maybe we set it to 24. Now, I will say that for the most part, you're gonna wanna leave the responsiveness on. Um, I think Wix Studio does a fantastic job at scaling things automatically. And the more things you have set as fixed, it's just gonna be more things you actually have to manually control on all breakpoints. However, I know there are gonna be some cases down the line where maybe you're just gonna wanna have a text element or just another element in general set as fixed instead of scale proportionately. So that is what this is really good for. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's quick little video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.